Healthy meal prep does not have to be complicated or time consuming, and I'm gonna prove that to you in today's video. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kayla and welcome. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing five days worth of meals and it's gonna include breakfast, lunch, and a snack option. Now for dinner, I'm gonna do a separate video for that where I share some you know, 10 minute dinner recipes that you can whip up during the week really quickly. I think you're really gonna enjoy that video as well, so stay tuned for it. But anyway, so today's video is a part of my new healthy meal prep series that I started on my channel. If you haven't seen the other meal prep videos in this series, I'll go ahead and leave the playlist linked for y'all below. So today's meal prep is gonna be an example of the whole carb cycling or cyclical keto eating style that I personally stick to. And so Monday and Thursday is gonna be what I call a moderate carb day where I do include some healthy, starchy, you know, paleo-friendly type carbs. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, that's gonna be my low-carb days where I eat more keto style. And of course, as you all know, I've shared many times, this has been the best eating style for me to help balance my hormones and really just to maximize my energy levels. All right, let's get started prepping these meals. For my two moderate carb days this week, I'm gonna be having a fat burning smoothie for breakfast and a taco stuffed sweet potato for lunch. And then on my three low carb keto days this week, I'll be having a veggie scramble with turkey sausage for breakfast and some lemon pepper chicken legs with creamed spinach for lunch. And by the way, the creamed spinach is to die for. Okay, so the key to getting all of this meal prep done in one hour is to start with the meals that take the longest to cook. So first, I'm gonna season two sweet potatoes with coconut oil and sea salt, and then I'm gonna cook them in my air fryer. My air fryer is set to bake, and I'm gonna bake it at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm just gonna cook them until they're completely soft all the way through, um, and this takes about 45 to 50 minutes. Of course, you can also do this in your oven. Next, I'm gonna season some organic chicken legs with avocado oil and sea salt. Of course, you can also use coconut oil. And I'm just gonna bake the chicken legs at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Now while the potatoes and chicken are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the beef mixture that's gonna go inside my sweet potatoes. So in a skillet over medium heat, I'm gonna cook some grass-fed ground beef. And once it's about 75% done, I'm gonna add some chopped onion and chopped bell pepper. I'm just gonna continue to cook this until the onion and bell pepper are slightly soft. Then I'm gonna add some taco seasoning and mix that until it's fully worked into the mixture. And then lastly, I'm gonna add some diced tomatoes. Go ahead and give that one more mix. I'm gonna set the beef mixture aside and start prepping my lemon pepper seasoning for my chicken legs. In a small bowl, I'm gonna add some melted grass-fed ghee. Of course, you can use butter as well. Some lemon zest and some fresh lemon juice. Go ahead and mix that up. And after the chicken legs have cooked for 30 minutes, I'm gonna remove them from the oven and coat them with this lemon glaze. And then I'm gonna generously sprinkle on some black pepper. I'm gonna bake the chicken legs for another five to 10 minutes. Now you can also broil the legs for a few minutes if you want more of a crispy finish. The next thing I'm gonna prep is the creamed spinach. And let me just say, this creamed spinach is so, so good. So all I did was take a pack of frozen spinach and then I defrosted it in some warm water for a few minutes. And then using a nut milk bag, I'm gonna drain the liquid. You can also use a cheesecloth for this. Then I'm just gonna roughly chop the spinach. And now in a skillet over medium heat, I'm gonna add some coconut oil and some chopped onion. Go ahead and saute the onions until they're soft and translucent. Then let's add the chopped spinach, mix that up. And next I'm gonna add some pepper, sea salt, and minced garlic. I'm just gonna saute that for a few more minutes. Then I'm gonna add some coconut cream and go ahead and mix that up. Then I'm gonna add the other half of coconut cream and mix it again. And then lastly, I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of fresh lemon juice just to give it an extra kick. And I'm just gonna saute this for a few more minutes until the spinach is a little bit more softened. And just that fast, the creamed spinach is done. Now I'm gonna prepare the turkey breakfast sausage. Now I make these all the time and they're super easy to make. In a mixing bowl, I'm gonna add some ground turkey, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, sage, red pepper flakes, paprika, onion powder, sea salt, 
and pepper. And I'm just gonna mix this all up. You wanna make sure that the seasoning is really worked into this turkey because that's really what makes it taste super good. Then I'm gonna add some coconut oil to a skillet over medium heat. I'm gonna form the mixture into patties and this recipe will yield you about eight patties. And I'm just gonna continue to cook until they're fully cooked through and slightly golden. Next, I'm gonna make my veggie egg scramble. I'm gonna start by adding six eggs to a mixing bowl with some almond milk, sea salt, and pepper. I'm just gonna whisk that until it's fully combined. Go ahead and set that aside and in a skillet over medium heat, I'm gonna saute some chopped bell pepper until they're slightly soft. Then I'm gonna add some spinach and just cook that down until the spinach is wilted. And lastly, let's add in the egg mixture and just cook that until the eggs are done. Setting the egg mixture aside, I'm gonna start making the breakfast smoothie. In a blender, I'm gonna add some unsweetened almond milk, a frozen banana, some frozen blueberries, ground chia seeds, vanilla collagen protein powder, and some spinach. Just blend that all up and the breakfast smoothies are done. Once the potatoes are done cooking, I'm gonna cut them down the middle and scoop out about 75% of the potato. And I'm gonna add that to a mixing bowl along with the beef mixture. Then I'm just gonna mix that until it's fully combined. Then I'm gonna add this mixture back into the potato skins. Now it's time to add everything to their meal prep containers, starting with the taco stuffed sweet potatoes. And on the side, I'm just adding some shredded lettuce, avocado, and cherry tomatoes. Now of course, don't forget to squeeze some lemon juice over the avocado to preserve it. Then I'm gonna add the chicken legs to my containers along with the creamed spinach. And those are ready to go. Now the turkey sausage is gonna go in its own container as well as the veggie egg scramble. And for snacks this week, I've boiled some organic eggs. And I'm gonna add some celery sticks to a jar of water. This is actually a great tip to keep in mind. When you put celery sticks in water in the refrigerator, it really helps to keep that celery crunchy and fresh throughout the week. And I've also prepped some of my low carb ranch dressing to dip my celery sticks in. And I showed you guys how to make that ranch dressing in my last meal prep video for the lunch meal prep. So of course you can go watch that video, but don't forget all of the recipes as always will be on my blog. So I will leave that linked for y'all below. Okay y'all, that is it for today's video. Five days worth of meals. If you are enjoying this meal prep series, be sure to let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. It motivates me to keep going and to keep sharing these recipes with y'all. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you enjoy this sort of content, be sure to subscribe below. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. And that's it for today. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.